Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop for 10 more minutes. Thunder Chief building action. That's right, baby, Christmas is over. Time to quit loafing, get back to work. I seen that message. <laughs> I call, man. <laughs> you guys are hardcore, man. Y'all get a week off and you're sitting there watching Bob TV, but no, Bob's got to get back to work. <laughs> That's all right. This is this ain't work for me. This is my vacation. Okay. What I got going today? Okay, let's talk about them hinges back there. I can't go get any this morning. The Bobo wife took the Bobo truck and left Bobo stranded at the Bobo house all day. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, uh, I got other stuff to do. We got to get on some gear doors. I gotta pop some molds off of them wings. I'm gonna lay up another set of flaps today and uh, creep right on rolling. But I wanna talk about something right quick. I've gotten some messages about these flaps. They're not exactly scale. And uh, I know this, people, but uh, my main goal right now is to make a practical flying airplane quick. I don't wanna spend a, a year building an exact scale replica at the moment okay I am after a 105 Thunder Chief that is a practical flying model that's why I put them hatches up there you know the real ones ain't got big old hatches up there but you know I'm trying to turn this into a, pr a practical flying model that uh, I can get one in the air right quick but people don't worry okay Anyone that wants, that gets that is lucky enough to end up with one of these kits will uh, have this. They cut off their wing. Okay. If they choose to make some exact scale Fowler flaps, they got an awful nice piece to start with. You know. And uh, who says I'm done with this airplane after it flies? You know, I could always modify things, add things, change things. Shoot, I can make me up a new set of wings in a weekend. You know. So, uh, let's just uh, not get too far ahead of ourselves here. Let's get this thing in the air. You know, uh, just these roller type hinges will be fantastic on the prototype. Uh, they're trouble free, you know, and that's my goal is just to get one of these in the air as fast as possible and uh, make a, a practical flying model that uh, flies good, you know, and then we can add and change from there, you know. But I need a set of gear doors, <laughs> bad. I don't think this airplane would fly very good without them, you know, that's a big old hole right there, man. But <laughs> I got to, but I'm gonna use that foam. Layer of carbon, layer of foam, man, they'll be rigid, man. They'll hold their shape really good. But that's my plan with that. Same way with these ailerons. Actually, the scale ones were hinged on the top. You know, but it leaves a gap on the bottom, and I don't know. I could probably make these later uh, Kevlar hinge, these ailerons. You know, uh, if they're hinged on the type anyway, why not? You know, just Kevlar hinge them from the top, but that's something we can play with and experiment with later. them holes in there and that just looks good this is nice and rigid right here by the time I get my duck glued in there it'll be nice I haven't put these up yet. Uh, I'm 
I'm going to go ahead and pop the mold off both these bottoms. Then we're going to take these bad boys in the basement. Get them out of the way. They don't get damaged. Old spray on them. <laughs> you know how it goes. Man. What I'm going to do, watch this, this is a great idea. I'm going to take my two pieces here that I almost threw away. I'm sure glad I did. And I can still lock these in place. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, these are molds for my other wings. Oh, I know what I was going to use them for. I can still line them up with uh, these dots. Okay. Sure, all my panel lines are lined up. Bam, beautiful. And this is one of them carbide chip score rolls. Right. Let's take this down in place. Carbide chip score also I got it at the hobby shop. And uh, pretty sharp. I just want to I want to go ahead and score this gear door on the muck plug. Because that's where they're going and they ain't never gonna change. See what I'm doing is I'm just scoring it all the way around. And uh, when I get this done, I'm going to lay me some fiberglass or some resin on there and some cloth and make me a gear door mold. I'm also going to do the aileron door mold and the flat door mold at the same time. 